Hey guys, so this is uh, Prism. Uh, this is uh, sorry, right? This is a a spreadsheet designed to just help you run your team in uh, Pipside Manager. Um, it's not going to run the team for you. Um, all it's going to do is present the information in a different way, um, so that you can then interpret it how you want. Um, in this video, I'm just going to do a very very brief overview, showing you the features. Uh, the way it's laid out and then I'll make some more videos which will go into each element in much more detail so this is the main screen now I've got three three teams in different worlds so I've got three setups here now the one in blue this is my team in world three and I'll just explain all of this because world six and world eight are exactly the same um, you'll see lots of tabs at the bottom um, they won't be there in the final version. This is still the working version. So first of all, actually I'll explain this main page last. Um, right, I'll, I'll explain the, the little bits first. You First of all, you've got a diary. Now all the diary does is it just lists all of the, um, all the events that are going to happen. Um, and then you can then there'll be a button for this when it's when it's uh, completed But if you then press a button you sort it you can see there then it brings all of the events in order So, you know, you know if you're working on your team in world 3 Meanwhile, you've forgotten to do your team in world 6 and then bang oops. I've played a game I should have been focusing on world 6. So this just enables you to prioritize um, so you can see that when I left it this morning these two events had already been completed. Uh, senior training hadn't been completed, but you know. So then, since I've come back, um, I've played this game with um, Haravin. Um, so I would now process that, and then I would then process youth training for World Six, and then I would train uh, deal with my training for three and eight. And I'm, and I'm going to leave them for this video because I can do these, I can use that for the basis of the next video. Um, this is uh, another form of diary. This deals only with the one world. Um, so this bit in the middle is what's happening now. Um, and as you can see, I'm on day 46. Uh, which you see, yep, yeah, I'm on day 46. Uh, it's Monday, so my next match is uh, quarter past nine. I'm actually not playing a game. But at quarter past five, I've got youth training. The time now is 20 past four, so I've got a good three hours to deal with that. Uh, tomorrow, or rather the next game day, which will be tomorrow morning, I'm playing Andalect. Um, and then in the afternoon, I'm playing Swindon. So I can see there at a glance, I've got three games on the trot, and then I've got two games rest, followed by a game against MK Dons. Now I know my team. Um, that match there at MK Dons, that's a biggie. Um, let me just explain. For a long time, I mean, they've slipped a bit, but for a long time, MK Dons were the leaders. Um, so, without actually doing anything, I can see at a glance what's important and what's not. So, these menus, they're, they're divided, well, there's four sections, but the main three sections, you've got info, and now info is things that you do not input so for example this is a list I mean I will tidy it up but this is this only deals with players training so for example find someone I can pronounce uh, Lewinsky there uh, there's his stats you can see he's 20 years old he's a central attacker um, he's 61 skill I've rated him at 64 and I will explain that in another video there's his stats this is all the positions that he can play in. So I rate him as a 64 centre attacker and a 59 attacking midfield centre. Uh, this is a reference grid. Um, there is there is a logic behind this, but there's no reference to anything in, in pitch side manager. Um, all it tells me it's a set of numbers. The higher the number, the more in need they are of training. So he really needs technique training. Um, and as you'll see there, it's suggested that we, we, we train technique. This little grid here is just tells the system uh, whether that his stats are in blue or gold. Because obviously there's no point the system telling you to train a stat that's, that's maxed out. So, that's, that's, that's the training. 
and then very very similar but for youth training um, and then this little section that deals with finances so you can see that my team there as it stands I mean I've not updated after the last game but my club is actually on to make 67 uh, 67,508 credits profit in the season um, but it's not based on the transfers or agent fees um, but it is based on the uh, ticket sales based on an average attendance you can see I've got an average attendance of 8,178 um, to make uh, to, to break even I need 7,709 um, so I need to fill 71.7% .7 of my stadium, I'm filling 76. Um, you input things like the position you expect to finish in, how many wins you expect to get, staff wages, training costs. Um, then you've got, um, this, is a, this is one I've not built a menu for, but this is a, an opponent view. And what you do is you pull your opponent squad, you then select the squad and it tells you which players are the best it ranks them in order so what I do is just for speed I select uh, the players that are ranked 1 to 11 um, if, if their goalkeepers aren't, aren't ranked within 1 to 11 um, you see there I've made a boo-boo I've actually picked a goalkeeper um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 oh I picked a lot actually um, but again I say it's not finished so you what you do is you pick you pick the best 11 I, personally I don't sit there making formations for them I just go straight in and pick the top 11 you can do what you like and then under here you've got your squad and uh, at the moment you can you it selects the best squad for you um, but I'm gonna change it so that it automatically brings in the select the squad that you've selected and then at the top here you can see a grid and this does a comparison for your team so in this particular match, I mean this is an old match, I did win it um, I won it 2-0, sorry I, if you can see those notifications I apologise so you can see that on my rating I rate my team 5 points higher than there um, my defence 69 against their attack 63 uh, their attacking midfield is better than my defensive midfield. We've both got nothing in midfield. His defensive midfield is stronger than mine. Um, it's strong, yeah, stronger than my attack midfield. And my attack is better than his defence. So, I've looked at that. Oh, and then my left is better than his right. My right is better than his left. And his my centre is better than his centre. So I actually picked a long ball and I opted to play down the right and I won the match 2-0. Whether it had anything to do with my tactics or not, I don't know, but, you know, I won. Um, so then with the next section will be inputs and this is information that you tell the system to use. There's only one page at the moment and this is your first team squad. So you put your first team squad there. Uh, you put your, your their contract. You type in numbers that represents when they play a game. Again, I will go over that. Their training rate, uh, their max date stats. Um, I did explain on here on the training. You don't input anything. These numbers here are all, all brought in from um, from the inputs. So what you type there goes into that other other page. And then you've got the recommended training, and then you can actually override. Um, so you see, I've got two players here, Gad and Lasowski. Um, I've overridden that with nothing, um, and we'll we'll this. So let me have a look, uh, just so I can show you. Uh, wrong, wrong page. Right. So training. You can see there I've got two players that are being recommended no training and the player there in the middle is stamina. Because I've done an override it takes the override. But if there's nothing on the override it takes the um, it takes the, 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 the default which in that case for that player is stamina. Um, so the next section now you need to import information 
to be able to use it. So this is the import from the squad selection. Um, again, it's all very scruffy. And then obviously the last section is the main page. And what the main page tries to do is it attempts to bring all of the useful information into one one page. Um, so you've got everything you need to know about that player on one page. You've got what position he plays in, you've got all of the little um, when you go onto your squad selection page you see here you've got little symbols down there um, they, they, sorry I my system keeps cocking up there we go right so you see you've got all the little symbols it tells you if he's injured how many days left he's got now I brought in a squad number um, that just helps me because the way I lay my team out uh, number 12 is the reserve to number 1 13 is the reserve to number 2 so on and so forth and then 23 to 35 is my development squad um, so I've got things to do on that um, yeah I've actually placed them in the wrong position um, I'll explain all this in another time you've got the position that they naturally play in their age, their wage, their contract, their experience the first team stay is this bit is quite important to me it tells me how many games I think that the system tells me how many games they should play in a season and how many they have played um, the sharpness of a player and this bit here is going to tell you the sharpness of the player based on whether or not he's picked um, so when I first started playing this I just put my subs in as players that are almost sharp well, if you've got four squad, uh, four, five players that are almost sharp, but you've only got four sub places, how do you know which ones to pick? If you pick someone who's um, played one game in the last four, and you pick him, he'll become sharp. But then you might have someone who's sharp who might be dropped down, or someone who's almost sharp if they don't get picked now they might drop to need games so sometimes you're picking people who are almost sharp just to keep them almost sharp um, and yeah that's that's about it I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video here and that's I'm gonna go into more detail um, I've got I've got some admin stuff to do on my team um, so I will um, I will I will explain that in other videos so for now take care